Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Well, Windows 8 is coming, and the rumor has it that there's going to be a beta later on this year available, and come next year, of course, in 2012, hopefully by the end of first quarter, we'll see the final release to manufacturing the version of Windows 8 out there. And um, there are some leaked versions, of course, as usual, as you would expect. Someone has leaked something, and there's something out there. But what is rumored to be out in the next release of Windows. Faster boot times, they say. Okay, so if you're the type of person that hibernates, suspends their PC, boots up their PC from scratch, whatever, it's gonna make use, of course, of your quad-core PC much better, okay, than in Windows 7, so they can quickly boot up and um, utilize the cores of your processors to load each process much faster, as opposed to Windows 7. And you can see here all the different test results that they did on their PCs and I'll be testing it as well. Now dual UI option, that tiled base, based uh, UI codenamed Mosh or Metro style they say also. You've seen this on the Windows phone as well, this tiled look. So that basically will be there okay so in one form or another we don't know 100 percent how it's gonna look but be prepared for that as well as a start button hopefully something that everybody's familiar and used to uh, using so we'll look forward to this new user interface and see how it looks also the Windows Explorer you can bet your uh, bottom dollar that that one's gonna be changing we've seen the changes in the Microsoft Office products and now of course you can expect that in the Windows Explorer with a tabbed look there so that you can navigate quickly in between different things, access different types of tools, and uh, do things on the fly without having to leave basically uh, the Windows Explorer interface. So we're looking forward to seeing uh, some new features in there as well compared to Windows 7. So there's a side-by-side -side, um, snapshot. None of these images, by the way, are mine. They're all from the uh, Windows engineering team on their blog. I'll post the link at the end copying files now the interface the pop-up menu will be different to give you more information more details you can pause copying and all that stuff so that will be nice mounting ISO images that will be native in Windows Explorer you'll be able to select an ISO and mount it so it will save you the hassle of having to install additional um, programs for that and utilities and of course there's a whole new list of things that um, are claimed to be included in the new release of Windows 8 and as we get more details I'll make more videos about it stay tuned for more on Windows 8 as it comes out and of course again I'm thanking the Windows engineering team they have a blog with more details if you want to check out their blog and uh, post your comments will you be getting Windows 8 what do you like so far that you've seen thank you for watching